Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today we'll do the part four. So we'll continue with the exercise. The students of a school went for an outing. If each student contributed as many rupees as there are students and the total amount collected was rupees 2704, find the number of students who went for the outing. So we don't know the number of students we can say the let the number of students be n you can put any variable over here so they said here if student got to buy as many rupees as there are students so we can say n into n that is n square and the collection was 2704 so this is going to be n square is 2704 so n is going to be when you square both sides so that is going to be n will be root of 2704 so how to find out the we already done before but still i'll show you once again because this is a big number so the square root of this if we are doing it by long division so what we are do we pair it we start from the right hand side so this is one pair the other pair now this is 27 so 27 means 5 5s are 25 and if we take 6, 6, that is going to be 36. So, but that will not be possible. So, 5, 5 is a 25. So, this is going to be subtracted. So, this will be 2. So, this is multiplication 5, 5 is a. So, now what will you do? You are going to add it. So, 5 plus 5 is going to be 10. So, now this 10 is bigger than this 2. So, we will take, always we are going to take pair down. So, that is going to be 2, 0, 4. So, now we already have 10. So this is a unit digit is 4. So we will see for 2. So that is going to be 204. So here we will write 2. 2 to the. So 102 to the. That will be 204. So now that is 0. So this will be. The square root of 2704. That is going to be 52. So we can say that for number of students who went for the outing are 52. In a school of 4,500 students, the PT teacher wants to make students sit in such a way that the number of students in each row is the same as the number of rows. So find out how many students are left out as a result of this arrangement. So let the number of rows, we'll consider this as R because this is a row, we can put it to R. So R into R, that is R square. And R square is given, this is given as 4,500. So again, the same thing, R is going to be root of 4500 so i have done the other working so here again we are going to pair it to this will be in twos so this is going to be six six are 40 this is 45 six six is 36 and seven seven is 49 but that is 45 so we are going to take six six are that is multiplied 36 so here in the next step what will you do you are going to add this one six plus six that is going to be 12 so after this when you subtract this this you get 9 but this is 12 so you will take these two numbers also down because always whenever we take down we take two numbers that is the, the pair and not single number so now you will look at this point that is this is 900 so we have 1 2 so you can just try and see which number fits here whatever you do this one the same number if it is 7 you also should be multiplied by 7 so 7 7 is 49 so this will be 889 because if we do 128 by 8 multiplied by 8 so that is going to be a bigger number because this is 900 so what we can see here remains is 11 so we can say here 4500 minus 11 that is going to be 4489 so we can say therefore 11 students are left out they said how many students are left out as a result of this element so they are the 11 students are left out The area of a square park is equal to that of a rectangular field of length. Length is 96 meter and breadth is 54 meter. Find the length of the side of the square. So just I've written here the given things. Length of field that is 96 meter and breadth of field that is 54 meter. So area of rectangular field here because in, it is a rectangular field of this one. So what we can see the area that are of rectangle is length into breadth. So that will be 96 into 54. So that will be 5184. And here 
find this is the area of square part that is the area of the rectangle that is given the area of a square part is equal is equal to that of a rectangle so area of square part we can write this is equal to area of the rectangle so area of square part this is 5184 so area of square part also is going to be 5184 so now we want find the length of the side of the square so area of square is side square so already we know that is 5184 so below this one we write 5184 is side square so when we square both sides so this will be s is going to be root of 5184 and you can also check that 5184 with the help of the long division what is the perfect square that is going to be 72 and you can just check 72 into 72 and you multiply this you get 5184 so we can say this we got the this we have done for the side so we can say length of side of square is 72 meter so now there were only three questions in this one so i have started with this exercise 3.3 over here so here will be find the square root of the following so now it is given here 121 by 625 so we have to find the square root 121 by 625 so now we can also write if you want one more step after doing this step you can write here root of 121 divided by root of 625 so root of 121 that is going to be 11 and root of 625 that is going to be 25 so you, if you don't know directly you can just check so how to check this i'll tell you this is 121 means 10 square is 100 so this number will be and 20 square is 400 so here this 121 so now here it, this will be in between 10 and 20 so now you are going to look at the the unit place so unit place is one over here so now if we can the possibility will be just 11 into 11 or we can say 19 into 19 because here 9 and 81 so wherever we get one but 19 into 19 this is going to be a big number you can check it so that the possibility is only 11 same you can do for 625 so 10 square is 100 20 square is 400 because you know ones and twos this one so 30 square is 900 so 625 comes in between 20 and 30 so here the last digit is 5 so the possibility is only 5 here so 25 into 25 again here same thing you can also write one more step so that will be 14 14 size 196 and 15 15 size 225 so this is the answer for the same one for this as well this is because square root of 64 is going to be 8 and square root of 441 that is going to be 21 same here square root of 49 is going to be 7 and square root of 169 that is going to be 13 so answer is 7 by 13 now here they said find the value of the following so root of 32 into root of 98 so what we can do here we can write a single root when we can multiply this one and later on what we are going to do we are going to take the factors of it 32 the factors with the help of factorization this will be 2 8s 2 4s 2 2s and 2 1s so how many twos we have one two three four five so here one two three four five for this for 32 now we'll see for 98 so 98 again we'll take the factors of it two 49s are so this is not possible with two sevens are and seven sorry seven uh, seven sevens are and seven ones are so seven this will be 277 so this is 277 this way for 32 and this is for 98 so now what we can see because this is a square root we can see we can make up pairs of it so when we make up pairs means we just write once just see what i'm doing here so because the that is a square root so we just write one one times that number after forming the pairs so now after this step we have to just multiply 2 to the 4 4 to the 8 and 8 7 the 56 so 56 is the answer now same for here you are going to multiply this one take the factors of 12 so that is going to be 2 into 2 into 3 and factors of 27 is going to be 3 into 3 into 3 so now again you are going to form a pairs over here 
So now this square, because it is a square root, you are going to write it only once. So now that is going to be 2 into 3 into 3. That is going to be 2, 3 is a 6. And this will be 18. Same here. We'll take the factors of 48 and 108. So these are the thing, these are the factors of both one. So you are going to form pairs of it. So here, here, and this we can make together one pair. So what we'll do this, this one, then this one, this, and this one, whatever we have done the pairs of it. Or you can do one step, you can bring this over here. And then later on, you can write it as you wish. So when you multiply this one, that will be 72. Again, now here, again, the factors, these are the factors of it. So now let us make the pairs. So this will be this together and this together. So now see here, this will be here. This 3 is going to be here and 13 is going to be here. So that is going to be 156. So by this one, we are completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get the notification of other parts. Thank you.